G'day everyone, welcome back to Oz Tool Talk. Hey guys, sorry for the long delay, we've just been, uh, you know, busy doing some other stuff. But uh, we want to review the new DeWalt brushless auto feed collated screw gun. Yep, DCF 620. That's right, that's this unit. Yep, and then the DCF 6201. If you can buy them separately, not sure why you would. Yep. But you can buy them separately. That's right. So, uh, this unit's got 4400 RPM. Which is more than enough speed. Mm. Uh, that rated at 435 watt, which seems more than enough for anything you do with a screw gun as well. Um, and uh, quite light. It's uh, about 1.6 kilo with the battery. Yep. Um, probably up sort of around the two kilo mark once you chuck the uh, uh, the collated uh, attachment on the front. Yeah. That that and the strip of screws. I think you're probably going to be just under two kilo. Yeah. Which yep. is fine. Uh, we really like the fact that this unit is just so easy to change. Um, you can have it uh, with this, with the depth adjustment on. You can drive a screw just like this yep. um, without any head on it. And then popping the uh, the collated auto feed is just that Done. easy. Yep. It's just so easy. Off it comes, on it goes again. Yep. Um, so uh, spring loaded like all um, uh, screw guns, yep. collated ones. Um, we, we think uh, the quality of this unit is quite quite good doing yeah look we, we actually popped it open guys and had a look inside at the internals yeah just pulled it apart sometimes you can get the idea is a, a clamshell units you can have quite weak componentry and once it's clamshell together it's strong yeah once you pull this apart all the individual components are still quite strong yeah i really liked it the wires are laid really nicely often you'll pull tools apart mm. and the wires are sort of crossing over each other yeah some time has been taken and, and i don't think it takes a lot of time but it does take thought to, yep. to want that process to work so yeah uh, there's some good you know waterproofing across the switch and the likes which as we know now big dollars are in switch assemblies yeah you know, it's a way tools are going because it's just one piece in one piece out that's right so uh yeah we ripped it apart and as you'll see there that we actually think the internals are quite good yeah i was very impressed yeah um the plastic molding and the rubber molding on the handle all feel good quality yeah it doesn't feel like it's going to sort of peel up on you at any stage no there's nothing that really stands out that you reckon you're going to be able to break easily on this unit i don't think no um we really like the belt hook yeah love sitting, it. sitting on there on a 45 degree angle you sit that on your belt or in your pocket and it just weights perfectly yeah uh, we really really like that it just it just works beautifully it sounds silly but you know some belt hooks they're just straight up i used to love the panasonic one where you could flick it into a 45 degree angle yeah. and it made a big difference it was it's such a small thing that's right but yeah i like it it's a good addition absolutely good LED light like uh like all the dual tools have stays on for a little while about 20 seconds yep i have to pull the trigger that's handy and tight spot um and uh it also comes with your standard uh, six inch Phillips head driver yep. for um, when using the collated unit. Yep. And you've got a little, um, uh, I don't know, two, three inch. 75 mil bit. Yeah, and yep. uh, and that's with the uh, where you can change the head in it as well. Yep. Not easy to get in and out. No. But you could course. also pop a, uh, like a, a square drive for yeah, decking, decking screws or something. Yeah. Um, so not just limited to plaster. Yep. Um, I think it's actually really cool that if you wanted to, you could easily, just like this, or with the uh, the main head that it comes with, you could be driving um, whatever you want. Yep. Um, whatever screws you want without the without the collated yeah. section. So have a look at the video now. Um, you'll see up close quite a few good features. Yeah. Uh, just sort of shows you how quick and easy it is to actually pop, pop it on and off and interchange all the parts. That's right. Okay, so getting into the main unit, guys. Just a couple of nice little features we like at the front here. Depth adjuster, really easy. Basic, in, out. There's nothing really fancy there, but it's a nice tight little unit there. You've also got the main head, which clicks on and off, and you'll see the little symbols on top. It's as simple as unlock, take out. It's got two different positions that you can put it in, so it makes it a little easy for you. I really like it. Slide it on, lock. Step one, step two, and you're done. So it comes in standard like that. Uh, what we did notice is that using that as a standard screw gun, if you wanted to, Pop the head off. Now, as opposed to a standard impact drive, you actually push this back. You can see my fingers there. Push this back to actually take your bit out. You could run a small bit. So if you happen to have a small bit sitting in your nail pouch or whatever, just for tight little jobs, you actually don't have to run down and find your impact driver. Uh, it's just a nice, compact, tight little unit uh, once you do that. So again, pull back and take the bit out. One thing to notice also about using this as a normal 
screwdriver is that because it's a screw gun, it's not actually going to start turning the bit yep. until you apply some pressure. Yeah. It's just going to trick you if you've never used them before, yep. but it's fine. As, as Mike said, the, the, the quarter inch collet is not quite as simple to use as an impact driver. Not quite. But you don't change bits on, on these very often, so no, no, you no, don't. Big, no big deal. That's certainly not something that, uh, that DeWalt would say, hey, use it for this. But we noticed that it's an added little thing that you can for sure. So um, with the belt hook edition as well, really like that. So we'll talk a bit more about that later on. That's got the book. And of course, with standard, you've got the LED on the bottom. As soon as you hit the trigger, you're right to go. And you've got a, uh, a trigger lock as well. Yeah, trigger lock. So down here on the bottom, you'll see, so I don't blind you with the LED. Uh, once you actually press there, this little thing, push the trigger in, flick it up. So you can actually leave that running. And look, 5 amp hour is going to do a fair bit, isn't it? So. Nice. Leave that locked on and just punch away and the screw's no drama. So again, little feature. Yep. Really like it. You've also got a forward and reverse. Um, I think most screw guns have one and, yep. and you wouldn't be using a reverse function on a screw gun very often. Not very often. But, but it's there. You need it. Yep. Uh, so, of course, getting towards the exciting part, which is the collated part. Extra long bit. So, one-handed, pop it straight in. Now, what we've actually got here, here's the uh, collated head. So, really compact, tight little unit. Uh, what basic functions we've got here quick release buttons, which I'll show you how to use in a minute It's a single hand click on quick release buttons the whole head pops off So really nice easy to use now. We've got the depth adjuster here So you'll see from both sides. I can actually wind it up and down a little hard to see on the camera But when I do wind that up and down you'll actually notice that just inside here There's a little gauge that moves up and down that shows you your depth So quite good really good visual thing most guys will go by oh, and punch a couple in anyway Yeah uh, but that's a good little thing anyway. Yeah. You can actually over tighten that a little bit. Yep. Like, I mean, it's not going to let you damage it, but you can sort of make it a bit tight and hard for yourself to get it back into the normal uh, depth zones. Yeah, it doesn't seem to lock out. So no. you can actually over tighten yeah. slowly. Something that we noticed just fiddling around with it a bit. So, uh, what we do have here, guys, you can see here it's quite see through. You'll actually see my hand behind. I really like this. It's not all covered over because once garbage starts getting up inside it, trying to pull the, a lot of these screw guns and stuff apart is a pain. Whereas these guys have left it quite open. I really like it because one little press button here which shows a lock and you can pull the whole head out. I can clear it. I can do whatever I want to in there. All right? And it's as simple as flick it back up. The spring just centers and locates. And without making a goose of myself on camera, it actually just clicks straight back in. Yep. So you've cleared it. You've popped it back in. All done. What you'll also notice, of course, we've got 25 through to 57 mil screws. So this little button here, if you slide that across... I can try and do that on camera and then as you pop it out you'll see all the measurements along here and it just clicks in and locates into the size screw that you want we're running 25 so flick it across push it all the way in yeah. that's now adjusted ready for 25 mil yeah I really like how it's not a continuous wind it's based on set depths yeah 25 then the you know the 32 whatever whatever it is yeah and it's a good little pin lo locator so yeah. there's no sliding scale where you can actually stuff it up that's right you've still got your depth your main depth adjustment that allows you that little bit of extra, um, you know, accuracy anyway. Yep. Um, but it's setting the screw length, ready exactly. to go. Beautiful. Yep. So now just moving straight on, um, we've got the unit there. So we'll actually pull this back, slide the Phillips head straight up the middle and click on. And now we're done. One really good thing here is this feature where you can actually turn it and twist it. So instead of getting into a, a funky little corner where I've got to sort of turn the gun upside down and contort, I can actually sit there like that as you can see and we can run that on its side or if I have to have the drill on a bit of a side, a bit of an angle, I can actually turn that right the way around. That is a 360 degree turn, yeah. really good feature there. Really good. Again just to show you, just to show you how quick and easy it is to take the collated head off, you got your little quick release units there, press that and you're straight off. Righto, so as you can see, this unit is super functional, easy to maintain, easy to, to change the settings. You don't need a tool anywhere along to, uh, to change anything. Yep. Uh, so we really like that. Um, just quality. Yeah, 
as far as we can see. Tidy unit, 650 to 700, depending on where you where you're looking. Yep. Same same thing. Everyone's got slightly different prices. That's a kit with with five amp hour batteries. Yeah, and like. A screw gun with five amp hour batteries is brushless. Like you're yeah. never going to need to charge the damn no. things. It's awesome. It's getting better and better, isn't it? Yep. Um, uh, the handle is is different to the to the standard Dewalt drills and such. It yeah. looks similar, but it is a bit bigger up here. They obviously have to make it a little bit different. Definitely felt different to the um, standard Dewalt drill you pick up. So that's something right. they've changed. It's a little, a little bit. bit bigger, but um, yep. it's it's not a heavy unit. It's not going to drive you crazy or anything. I've got one complaint on the brushless though. What's that? You pull it out of the box and the brush just doesn't smell sexy. Oh, I know. From the first pull of the trigger. So, oh. my complaint now, I've said everyone should be going brushless. That's right. I want them to have brushless, but I want the smell. Yeah, I want to smell of brush. Yeah, the brushes. I want to bust it out and have a good smell. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we really like it. Yep. Um, you, you might better get it with 2 amp power batteries as well, which will um, be, be lighter again. Depends what you want to do. Yeah. Also, 3-in-1 three, three warranty. 3-in-1 warranty, standard uh, with DeWalt, and um, you can buy it as a skin as well if you want to, if you're already decked out with DeWalt gear. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to be disappointed, guys, honestly. It is a compact unit yeah. and highly functional. Yeah. This this thing's a ripper. Yeah, that's right. So, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Um, check out our other videos. Have a look on oztooltalk.com for our reviews. Yep. Um, yeah, chat to us on, uh, on Facebook if you want, and uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Hopefully, have another video up pretty soon. We'll try not to have such a big break. Yeah. Please click subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you later.